In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. How did you build your home? Question. How do we build our home? This message is for the young couple, those who are planning a family, and those who already have a family. We just have celebrated Christmas, a wonderful time of the year. A new year. And many people made so many resolution that by now it's already forgotten. But today, the second Sunday after Epiphany, the baptism of Christ, and you got stuck with me to preach. I know you were expecting Father Jim. But Father Jim had to go see a family out of town. We wish him well. With all the promises we make, unless our promises rooted, rooted in God, it means nothing. It means we cannot be trusted. Our word does not mean anything. No one can depend on us, and we do not depend on others. Unless our resolution and promises is based on the commandment of Christ. My dearly beloved, this week we celebrated St. John the Baptist feast. And if you notice that St. John is icon always on the left of Christ. Because St. John became famous not only for baptizing the Lord and not for threatening and scolding Herod Antipas, but for major principle that he said, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. In the gospel this morning, read to us by St. Paul, he reminded us, he said, brother and sister, keep in mind that grace, name, grace, was given to each of us according to the measures of Christ's gift. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means that each of us, born of the water of baptism, has been endowed with a special talent. This talent manifests itself in our attitude, in our behavior toward each other. How best we can build the future and how best we can build a home or build a marriage, let alone to build a church, it requires Devotion, devotion, devotion to pray, to pray. And we do pray in good time and in sad time. We do pray in season and out of season. So building a home, family, church are the same thing. It requires people. There's nothing magical. 
To build a community has one basic principle, faith in Christ, who is the builder. Unless the Lord build your house and mine, unless the, how the Lord build your marriage and mine, we labor in vain. Yes, we are his co-worker. We are the work of his hand. If we believe that our Lord is the head of the household and the church, we say what St. John the Baptist said once, Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. In other words, everything we do shall reflect of what God has purpose for us. Building a peaceful home, a family, require giving of ourselves a sacrifice for the sake of the Lord. In other words, we grow faster or we don't grow faster. We succeed faster or we do not succeed faster. We reach our goal faster or we do not reach our goal faster. The point is we are walking day by day. We grow if we state and confess that my talent, my energy, my knowledge is for the benefit of my family, my church, and my marriage, and my household. On behalf of whom? The Lord who gave us the talent to keep in mind that conflict is born among people. When two or three gather to pray, they either can pray or they can have disagreement. It's a human nature. We don't agree with each other. Conflict is born among us. The result of different opinion, but the goal should be one. The goal should be one. St. Paul said one of the most remarkable statements about those who believe, about those who are married, about those who are struggling, about those who are building a church, who is building a family. He said, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort in love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, an affection and mercy is asking us, Fulfill my joy. What's his joy? Being like-minded, having the same love, being with one accord in one mind. Let nothing be done through selfishness. Selfishness or ambition. Marriage fall because of selfish father and a selfish mother. Home and churches collapse, not because they don't have money. We never had money. If anybody's broke, you are broke. But we have goals 
We have purpose. Let each of us look not for his or her interest, but for the other interest. Things are tough. My dearly beloved, this soon to be our 47 year, and I have people sitting here who were there 47 years ago when your parents and grandparents gathered together to build a church. We did not have high education. Most of our people who work in the stores, their pharmacy, their shoe repair. Most of us didn't speak English, let alone me speaking English. But we have one common goal, to build a house with disagreement and agreement, with fight and reconciliation. But the goal was once. Because each and every one of us knew he was commissioned and given a talent, grace, by Christ according to his or her own need. Yes, my dearly beloved. We live in an instant society now. We demand things instantly. Instant gratification, instant want, instant demand, and there is no more patience. Parents have no more patience on their children. Children have no more patience on their parents. Kids don't have patience to study and listen to their teacher and parents. They want to do things as their own. Why? Because we become so much charged society that deal only with electronic. And we lost the gift of patience. My dearly beloved, we need to endure. We may endure. St. James said, the farmer plant his crops. And sometimes he hit a drought. But never give up to plant the crops again. We need to endure in our family. We need to learn how to endure in our community. But we live in a world that become empty and away from Lord's Prince's principle. So we address conflict and disagreement with conflict and disagreement instead according to the Lord promise. And not what we were made for. We were made for to be good. So family, church, best medicine, best medicine is to endure. شعبنا تحمل كتير وبعده عم يتحمل كتير. We need to learn to endure. We were all talented in different area, in different measures. St. Paul said, is God's gift for some to be soldier, clergy, deacon, priest, 
doctors, chanter, husband and wife. But God equipped all of us to build up the body of Christ. That is the home, the community, and the church. In other words, to build our life. How do you build your home? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen.